Hello fellow Hearts of the Blue and welcome to my channel and welcome to another Technique 101 video. A series where we look at the most basic aspects of the hobby. In this video I will be showing you how to transfer Citadel paint into droppers. I never thought I would be making a video about this but it seems I get asked at least once a week and I guess it's good to have a video to point that this is how I do it and I think it's the most simple and straightforward method to do so. No fuss, no cleanup, no overcomplicated gadgets. This is just a quick extra video, so let's not lose any more time and let's get cracking. These are all the tools you are going to need to do the transfer from the pot into the droppers. You just need a, a squidgy bottle with some distilled water and you, you just need water to thin them down. You don't need any medium or anything. Distilled water works just fine. I did that for all of my paints and they work fantastically fine. You need some kind of nippers or some uh, box cutter or something to cut the hinges of the pots and you need some I well you don't need them but I recommend you use some stainless steel agitators the only ones I recommend the only ones are the ones for Ar from army painter I tested a lot of them these are the only ones that I've tested that are readily available and they don't rust because I've used others from other brands and they ended up rusting creating a mess these don't rust you have my guarantee at least as long as they haven't changed the supplier hopefully they haven't so just a small extra uh, just to prove you that the army painter stainless steel balls don't rust this is my old Fenrisian gray I have the new one just transferred just after I recorded the video and here, it's a, a, the old a steel agitator. And this is from the same set of army painter ones. And here is the ball. Let me just clean it up for you. There you go. Good as new. And it's been there for years. And talking about the droppers that I use, these are the ones. They come with this thin tip applicator. I used to buy them as e-cigarette liquid bottles and they come with a security cap, you can see there, and the caps come in different colors. And I use the colors to match my paints. So for layer paints, I use blues, for base paints, I use reds, uh, shades, greens, and contrast yellows. Those are the ones that I use. And I will leave a link in the description to where I used to buy them. I can't buy them anymore from Spain. For some reason, they just wouldn't ship to Spain. So I will also leave a link to an AliExpress listing. The only issue is you can't really choose the colors of the caps, which is a problem for me, but I half enough caps and sometimes I just need more bottles so you know meh, whatever uh, we are going to transfer a couple of paints that I actually need to transfer because I'm r I just ran out uh, these are administration gray and fernvisin gray when these are new pots so you can 100% see that I haven't added anything into them you see it's still sealed and one contrast paint so you can see what how to do that as well because I need to fill up my grief charger gray and I will show you how to do that as speaking of the normal acrylics what you have to do first is cut the hinges I use these nippers but you can use just a cutter or an exacto blade it doesn't really matter you open it up and you see how thick it is. Usually GW paints are pretty thick and they just won't pour 
like this is going to create a mess. How much water you want to add, that's where the problem begins. Each paint is different and each paint will need different amount of water. So I can't really tell you how many drops or how many milliliters you need to add. It just doesn't work like that. I'm going to add a couple of these mixers and I'm going to add, uh, you know, that much water and see. I'm going to mix it with my Portex and then see if it's thin enough. Let's see how it's going. Looks much, much better. I'm going to do a test. The idea here is that paints need to be just thin enough so they flow uniformly and nicely into the droppers by themselves. And let's see if this is the case. Yeah, it's flowing, so that is enough. And this is how we do it. And you I just do it like this. You don't need funnels, you don't need anything. Just slowly pouring until the paint itself flows onto the dropper without, you know, creating a mess. If it's thin enough to do this, it's perfect. It's the, just a perfect consistency. You just need to be a little bit patient and just do it like this. There's still plenty paint there, so we're going to keep on doing this. As you can see, with a little bit of the vortex action, it just flows super nicely and it's really uniformly mixed. So we really don't need anything else. We're running out of paint there. There's still plenty paint there, but we are going to add a little bit more water, just another, some small drops there to make sure we get as much as possible. When you're doing this, you need to assume that some paint is going to be lost. There is no other way. I'm really sorry to inform you about that, but that's how it goes. It's going to be once you're starting to get low on paint, this is the, you aren't going to be able to see that for the camera, but you need to tip the whole container down until no more paint. It's flowing. And yes, you're going to lose some paint. It doesn't matter. The amount of paint you're going to lose in this process is infinitesimal compared to the amount of paint that is going to be lost if you keep the pot and not transfer them. So it's way worth the price. I wouldn't recommend this is the paint that is left. And I hope you can see, let me just show how little paint you have. You can see the bottom with the little flashlight. You can actually see that the bottom is starting to get transparent. How much paint you want to save from here goes up to you. This is how I do it, and you don't need anything else. I'm going to pick up my two uh, mixers and put them into the bottle. These ones are not magnetic, so a magnet won't work, but just some tweezers will do the job just fine. There you go. And that's it. That's how I do it, as simple as that. And you put the tip on, goes on like this big, make sure it goes flat onto the main body section. And then you just put the lid on and put the sticker. The stickers from GW bottles are super easy to peel off. The only thing you have to do is with your nail, Pick one corner up and just pull them off. It's like they were designed to do just that. And I like to put the corner that I lifted, I like to put the 
first, so it's on the bottom, and then I fold it up, and I have a perfectly crooked sticker. There you go. It's even easier for contrast paints because you don't need to thin them down. What I do is I just give them a good vortex hit to make sure there isn't any residue at the bottom. Some contrast paints will have a residue here. You need to mix them until you're sure there is no residue left. Vortex makes an easy job out of that. We're going to do the same, cut the hinges off. For contrast paints, you absolutely don't need uh, mixers. We're not going to use them for contrast paints, not needed. We have our grief charger gray, and it's just a matter of very carefully just tipping it and let it flow. There you go. Nice and slow. Don't rush it. These are 20 millimeter droppers, so any GW paint is going to fit here perfectly well. And also contrast paints are so satisfying because you can see the bottle is just basically empty. Last drops, there you go. A completely empty bottle, that doesn't matter that little bit there. And we just put the tip on, again making sure it fits flush with the body. Screw the lid. And the same process, we go to one corner. This one is already a little bit lifted, so I'm going to use this. I lie my pot flat. Apply the sticker and put the side that I lifted off first. Done. This is how you transfer paint really easily. Zero mesh. Nothing to clean up, no funnels to clean up, nothing. You can have some paper towels in case an accident happened, which can happen, but you see, super easy to do. That's it, as simple as that. That's how I transfer the full citadel range into droppers and I couldn't be any happier. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget that if you like my videos and want to help me make them, you can follow me on social media. You have the links to all my social media in the description below and in the pinned comment of this video. Share and like this video, but most importantly, there is Patreon and channel members. Perks include access to an amazing Discord community full of lovely people, access to many more exclusive painting videos, and private one-on-one -on -one online tutorings. Help me enjoy the list of the coolest persons in the planet, including Dodge Howell, Ben Ben, Jacob, Mateusz Babiuk, Andrei Mishenko, Tristan Lavo, Aram Miller, Jake Staines, Matthew Needles, Stefan Zimmerman, Giugiale, Andrew Walden, Tom, Dr. Mike, Martin Reverua, Sheshua, PJM, David Rady, Matt Wallace, Cross24, Robert McMillan, Corey Hoffman, Mark Carter, Hendrik, Mansonian, Thomas Knut, Chester Ross, Mark Griffiths, Tyler Hughes, Chris Gilroy, Spicy Joy, Ossie Best Life, Mark Watson, Hamish Donald, Matthew Lang, Luz Manuel Toca Oria, Inigo Garcia, Stavros Stavro, Kelly Richard, Shinji Wo, Meg Regueira, Romain, Ars Minutura, James Brand, Dan Sex 92, Jazz Rex, Joe Offwood, Dr. Cathaver, Angelo Alex So, Alastis, Rainier Hochbark, Mark Bellencoop, Felix Franke, Aaron Bernstein, Stefan Franiati, Daniel Ramin, Bolsi, Phil Wahlberg, Terry Denham, Plutch, Tony, Biom, Howard Hotwell, Stefan Yol, Nick DeMau, Robert Smith, Painting Peter, Stephen Rockford, Roger Nilsson, Oscar Jonathan Tomberg, Min Guyen, Dan Mako, Cristalios, Kevin Mian, Darcy Farrar, Natius Maximus, Aaron Dell, Javi Mota, Eamon Patton, Dan Thaxon, Gareth Smith, Heather Armstead, Mark Atkinson, Mark Jarvis, Joe Simpson, Christoph Moret, G4, Dr. B, Bartolo Mikahusa, Lenard Lindemann, Kirino Murthel, and Kevin Sullers. And as for me, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.